each time a relationship fails, the narcissist has to put on a bigger show with a new supply. Each time it's something, a relationship goes bad, the next show gets bigger. And that is why you see narcissists getting married and divorced all the time. <laughs> They're in and out of relationships like that. And each time the show's got to get bigger. You know, and they've got this image that they have to put up for the world that they're not dysfunctional. So every time one of their relationships fail, they got to try to make the next one look even better because you know what's going to happen. But the new supply has got something to prove to you. The new supply is right in on the show to prove something to you that you've lost and they've won. And so you can't feel bad for the new supply or want to rescue the new supply. The new supply knows who you are and the new supply knows what's going on because they are there putting on the show with the narcissist to aid in your devaluation. That's it. They're there. Why would you want to rescue and save someone or people who are actively trying to devalue you to make themselves feel better? That new supply knows what's coming. That new supply obviously feels threatened by you or they wouldn't need to put on a show. To help the narcissist actively devalue you. You watch how once the new supply becomes self-aware, the new supply has a facade that they have to keep up right along with the narcissist now. Because that new supply went right along with the narcissist love bombing. And look at us, everything's so big, great, and beautiful now. So all past sources of supply are null and void, as I stated the show gets bigger each time with the narcissist. Each time a relationship fails for a narcissist, the next supply, the show gets bigger because the narcissist has to put more attention towards the new relationship to deflect from all the failed relationships. So it's got to get bigger, better, and grander each time. The show's got to get bigger. So the new supply, you know, was all in on it until the new supply gets starts getting devalued. Until the narcissist starts becoming difficult. Until the narcissist starts acting like a narcissist, which is a child. And starts playing the little games that they play. Throwing the little tantrums. Starting the little fights. Not doing the things that you ask them to do. Them breaking promises. Not showing up being lazy. Expecting you to wait on them hand and foot because that's your role. You know, when that kicks in in the new supply, now the new supply is like, oh, damn. Okay. All right. And if you got a supply who, you know, a lot of us supplies are pretty tough. You know, and that's why the narcissist liked you if you fought back because, you know, they like toxic behavior. You were fighting to defend yourself. They were like, ooh, toxic behavior, narcissistic supply. You know what I'm saying? And when you were like, no, I'm not being toxic with your ass anymore. I'm out. You know, they have to go to somebody else to make the show bigger. But now the new supply has to keep up the facade because the new supply was putting on the big show too. Look at us. We're in this, you know, big awesome show together, this production together. And it happens every time. Every time. Every time the narcissist gets in a new relationship, they do the same thing. They put just put on a bigger show. And so the new supply is being love bombed and putting on the show. And then when devaluation hits and the new supply is finally dealing with all the difficultness, all the little manipulations and stuff. And if the new supply is also narcissistic or sociopathic or psychopathic, you know, then it's really going to be toxic and fun. The narcissist is really going to be miserable. They'll both be miserable because they're not able to get anything out of the other one. You know what I mean? Because none of them have any empathy. They both have it, and they're trying to keep up a facade, an image. The new supply doesn't want anybody to know, oh my God, this person is making me crazy. Or the narcissist is over there. They know the narcissist probably hates him, but they've got a show to, they've got a show to put on. And you know, it's, they just, they always have to trump what they did in the past to deflect from the failures. And this cycle will repeat over and over. And the new supply, the new supply, see, because the new supply wanted... The past supplies to be, you know, feel some type of way like, ha ha, I got the narcissist now. A narcissist knows they're putting on a show that they want you to see. So a narcissist expects that that's, that you're going to do the same thing. They're watching you because they want to see what you're doing. So they put on a show because they assume you would like them and going to watch what they're doing. I hope this is making sense. Remember, narcissists thinks people think like them. 
And a narcissist watches you. They watch you. They want to see your social media. They want to see what you're doing. You know, so that's why they put on such a show because they want you to see what they're doing because they know they want to see what you're doing. And that's why as part of no contact, you should never even look at their social media. But once once you've become self-aware and you've you found that healing journey, you, it doesn't matter. You could care less because you see it for what it is. You can't unsee it. But the narcissist, you know, they want to know what you're doing. They need they they're watching you. So don't give them access like you've got to stay private. A narcissist can't stand your privacy. They can't say that's why they break down your boundaries. So you being private and being very, very careful about keeping your life private. I know you think, why do I have to be inconvenienced because this person's doing weird stuff? But it, in the end, I'm telling you, it is not an inconvenience. An inconvenience is a narcissist that knows your business. That's an inconvenience. Having a private life where you're very, very careful to make sure the narcissist can know nothing about the moves that you're making and the people that you're dealing with. Yeah, that is taking your power back. And I'm telling you, it feels, it's freedom. That's, and I, that's what freedom feels like, knowing that the narcissist knows nothing about your life or the moves you're about to make. You know, they only know what you let them know. And that's it. You know, when you don't have social media, and like for me, like I have my channels, you're only going to know what I let everybody else know. So you're not going to get too much. So you're, you being private about your life will bother a narcissist. And it'll, it bothers a narcissist when you know that they're putting on a show and you know what they're doing because you know what they are. But they can't control it. It's part of their cycle. They have to put on a show with each new relationship in order to keep their cycle going because it's meant to devalue the past sources of supply. And if it's not devaluing anyone from the past, then the new supply gets devalued. And if the new supply is not going to put up with devaluation, and the only way for the narcissist to regulate themselves in that relationship is to get a side supply and to have a hidden source of supply somewhere behind the new supplies back in order to have that person to devalue. There's always somebody that the narcissist is actively devaluing or they cannot regulate themselves. End of story. So if you're the new supply and the narcissist is on their best behavior, it's because there's somebody that's being actively devalued. And if you're the new supply and you know that you're helping a narcissist put on a show because you're helping them devalue some past source of supply and you know what's going on, then you know what? It doesn't matter. Go ahead and be that person. Because that is, what does that say about the new supply? Why would you even worry about wanting the new supply? When they're the type of person that wants to help a narcissist to value you. Like I said, a narcissist has to put on a show with the new supply of the world that the optics have to be good, that everything is perfect. Think about it. They did it with you. They did it with that supply. That supply is all a show because you remember how miserable you were and you knew what the narcissist was doing to you, but the optics on their social media was telling a different story. It's not any different with a new person. So don't worry about warning the new supply. Because a lot of the times the new supply is in on actively devaluing you. They're in on the show. They want you to see them with the narcissist. They want that. And that's all about insecurities. Because why would a person need to do that? If you're insecure, if you have to make another person feel bad about themselves. You're insecure if you have to want to actively devalue someone. You know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why the narcissist puts on the shows that they do. And each relationship, it plays over and over they need the world. They need the optics because it's all about keeping up a facade, all about keeping up an image that they're not dysfunctional. Look at me. I'm just in another relationship. It just didn't work out with that person. So the optics have to get bigger and better each time. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep getting the knowledge. You are all going to be amazing.